Now, coming up, uh, here's Bev with the story of a motorcycle for a paraplegic. Yeah, you bet. Thanks, Jeff. It's a chance to experience the thrill of the ride once more. Two years ago, Daryl Tate was injured in a snowmobiling accident that left him a paraplegic. But one of his friends wouldn't let that be the end of his adrenaline-filled adventures. University of Calgary engineering student Liam Ferguson teamed up with classmates to create a customized motorcycle for Tate. Now they're well into the testing phase. Liam Ferguson and Joel Scott join us from Calgary to tell us more about the project. Good early morning to you both, gentlemen. Hi. Good morning. Well, um, what you're doing is really quite fantastic, and I know it's still more or less in the prototype phase, but since you brought that piece together with you right now, explain what we're looking at. Sure. Go ahead, Liam. Well, basically we wanted to de develop a system that helped re re replicate what the human legs do in, when a rider's racing motocross. And in order to do that, we designed a spring that kind of withstands the same forces that the human legs do, and we and, and integrated into this swinging beam and into this front mount to help um, help, help the rider ride like he used to. Oh, and, and Scott, let me ask you, um, sorry, Joel, uh, when you started in on this project, did you think... I mean, obviously, you wanted to to, uh, to make it work, but how impossible did you think the task might be? And then initially, uh, well, it's a, a big project for sure. Uh, our course kind of prepared us for what we were going to be doing over the first half of our school year. So we learned about design, and then the second half we had to build it. But with the help of our uh, school shop and all of our sponsors and everybody, it, it really came together very well. It was it was kind of a daunting task actually. We had to really shrink down what we were hoping to do, but. Uh, we came up with something that we're really proud of, and I think it's, it's going to turn out really well. You bet. Liam, tell me about your friend Daryl, and I guess your inspiration for doing this in the first place. Yeah, well, after speaking to Daryl last summer, we, he's kind of on the path to getting back into the sports that he participated in before his accident. And one, one of the things that he, he mentioned he wanted to get back into was getting back on his mo motocross bike and getting into it. So after speaking to him to the summer and having this chance in our fourth year design class, we were able, I was able to get some friends together and put with this pro pro project together and help, help get, get him back on his bike. And, and now, Joel, I mean, you've clearly gotten a lot of attention about this. And, and as you may understand, a lot of people are taking a look at this because there's going to be a lot of interest for anybody else who might be in some way impaired that would love to be able to do it. Sure, it's a, I think it's a great opportunity for us to push forward um, into a, 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 people into a sport that they wouldn't otherwise be able to do, so that's very exciting for us. Liam, how far along do you think you are in terms of when you might actually see this in regular operation? Well, as of now, we've just kind of developed a, this, well, what you see here, it's just been put on a, a test frame, and it's just kind of to prove, prove the concept that it can't can be done and to allow us to do for, for further testing. Eventually, would hope to eventually maybe market it and maybe sell the idea. But right now, the next stage would be at least to put it on a rear wheel bike, do some more testing, and ensure that it's safe. And then from there, we'll keep going. But realistically, would would like to think that maybe in the next two to three years, we'd have a final product that pe people can't can use and is safe for them to use. What did you need to know from Daryl about this? Because, I mean, clearly, I guess you would have to really understand his ability and his disability on a different level. Did he walk you through that, so to speak? Exactly, yeah. Well, at the start of the project, we did have a meeting with him and went over these things because at first, for us, we were, we were a bit kind of, well, we didn't, we didn't quite think it was possible without, because we just assumed you're used to using your legs and we didn't know what he was capable of. So after talking to them, it was really, he, he, his motivation and his determination really, made us see that it was possible and from there we just kind of got more information about what he can do, what he can move, how his bat balance is and what he, he wanted in terms of, of a design and what he needed for us to make this a po possibility. For sure. And Joel, the reaction at the school on behalf of, you know, fellow students and our friends and professors to this? Um, I mean, everyone's really supportive. Everybody has their own project that they're very proud of, but uh, it's nice to have some friends behind us for sure and the faculty is very very helpful too so it's just a phenomenal project nice. gentlemen thank you both for coming on and showing us what you're up to with this yeah thank you very much thank take you. care